another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Uh, this is an interesting vehicle we found at SEMA. You know, as you know, SEMA is the big show in Vegas every year where all the manufacturers display their wares and they usually build, you know, a concept car or some kind of custom vehicle. But every now and then, a private individual, because their car is unique, uh, gets to be part of the SEMA experience, which is, which is what this car was. We saw it sitting there. It was built by a young man named Dominic Lee, uh, not selling anything, you know, although he has a company. But I mean, this wasn't a showcase for his products. I think uh, just as I was impressed, I think the officials at SEMA were impressed, and they uh, put it on the floor, and it got all kind of attention. So let's meet the builder. Dominic, come on in here. Dominic Lee, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, Jay? Hey, that's pretty cool that you get a private vehicle on the floor at SEMA. How did that come about? Did you uh, have well, to pull a lot of strings? How'd that happen? There was a couple of strings. It was my first car at the show. So um, I made a few phone calls to a couple of good friends. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we got the car to display um, outside of SEMA during the cross path. And, you know, here she is. Well, so, now, do they, is there like a crew that comes out and goes, hmm, okay, yeah, this, this, this does it, right? Well, we entered the car in Battle of the Builders. And, okay. Um, it was a showcase of I guess some of the best builder in the nation, right, you know, from right. the Ringling Brothers to Chips. Sure, sure. Um, and we thought it was a car that could stand on its own, hopefully, and it was something unique that we wanted to showcase to everyone. Now, it looks like a mid-70s Datsun, yes. but obviously heavily modified. So what did we start off with? Um, the car was originally was a 1974 Datsun 1200 um, truck from Japan. Okay. Um, it was an overseas model. It was never offered in the United States. Now, why was this never offered in the... I know it's obviously right-hand drive. Yeah. But this, this body style was never offered here? No, it was not. It was okay. a unibody, and I think during that time, uh, there was a lot of pickup trucks, and I think the car wasn't strong enough to carry a lot of the loads. Right, right. So it was... If you look at it, it's a unibody, so basically it's a car. Right. You know, so... Just with a truck body. Yes. Almost like an El Camino would be, that kind yeah, of... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Basically. Um, basically. Okay. And what was the engine? What was it, 1200 originally? It was a 1200 motor putting out about maybe 70 to 80 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So you can see why it wasn't really a practical truck. Right, right. Yes. So now you've done what? Well, we have beefed it up, um, you know, not only just the look of it, we wanted to make sure that, you know, the bite is as good as the spark. So the motor is currently has a SR20 DAT from an S14 Nissan Sylvia. And how many engine. liter is that? Um, it's a 2.0 liter, but it oh, is stroked okay. out to 2.2. 2.2, two. okay, yes. very good. And obviously rear wheel drive. Yes. Okay, five speed, four speed? Five speed. Okay. Um, custom, pretty much everything in the front, if you can see. Um, we had to, it's a very tight space, so we made sure that we got enough room to make sure all and which, the components work. Which transmission do you use? This is the five speed that came with the SR. Oh, okay, yes. all right, very good. And obviously, now what have you done? The front end looks different. Well, I'm not sure if it looks different because I don't think I've ever seen one. I mean, I've seen these in Australia and in Japan in pictures. This is the first one I've kind of seen in person. Obviously, this hood is heavily modified. Yes, sir. And the whole front end is, isn't it? Yes, the whole front end is actually from a 71 and 72 um, Skyline. Oh, Nissan okay. Nissan GTR. Okay. Um, okay. But of course, it's actually... Now, where know, do you get one of those? I mean, you see, some of those guys <laughs> going, you, you broke up a Skyline. You... Yes, we get that a lot. So why did you chop up a Skyline? Yeah. And uh, from the purest standpoint, I, I did not cut up a Skyline. We actually... A Skyline front end would not fit directly onto this. Right. So everything has to be custom made. Okay. So everything was shrunken a little bit more, fitted well, and just to make sure that it, it flows well with the car. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't want it to just look like it's a chop and hack kind of job. This is one of my favorite things. This is a uniquely Japanese thing to have these mirrors all the way in the front yes. fender. You know, I, my Cosmo had yes. them and my Lamborghini Mirror when I first got it, I had the mirrors way up here. Yes. The great thing is they look cool. The bad thing is you can't adjust the mirror while you, <laughs> yes. you have to get out, press it, go back, sit down, get out, press it again. Yes. But I think it looks really cool being out. And that, that is a, a really a 70s Japanese thing, isn't it? Yes. And, and the neat feature is that was in Japan, the spaces are very tight. Right. So the whole point of these mirrors is that if someone were to walk by, they don't just clip your mirror. It actually folds in, too. If you look, you know, it just kind of tilts in directly a little bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's the unique part of the fender okay. mirror. So you're saying Jap Japan is so crowded. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Just mowing down pedestrians. Yes. Obviously, it's been lowered, what, six inches? Um, a little bit more. It's <coughs> looking about eight inches right now as we okay. as this car sits. Um, we raise it up slightly a little bit to make the drivability a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. right, um, right. But, of course, it's 
custom suspension complete in the front. Now the hood, uh, this, is, this is not the Skyline hood, correct? It is not, no. Okay. We vented out a little bit just so that we can breathe some air into the okay, car. Okay, so this is you, this is... Yes. The, and plus the louvers as well. Exactly. But beautiful job on the louvers, by the way. Nice, as opposed to just, uh, you know, cutting it with the, you know, that, I, yeah. I like this look here. That looks very, very nice. Yeah. Well, the front was actually, it's, it's all made out of a composite material. So okay. we, we control the way it's supposed to be and the way it looks. So. And these hood pins lock? Yes, they do. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. they just pop open slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, yeah. boy, that's, that's nicely done. And then you have the bed. What is this material? Is that carbon fiber? This is carbon fiber. Um, okay. It is a classic truck, and yeah. we didn't want just wood floor like most classic truck, a domestic classic truck. So I thought a little bit more modernized would be a carbon show bed. Sure, sure. So it kind of gives it, you know, just not just the party in the front, but also party in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And uh, obviously the flares. Yes. Yeah. Now none of this is. This hasn't been lowered at all, correct? No. The, no. Okay. Yes. So here to here is stock. Yes. Door is stock. Door is oh. stock. Okay. So you just took some out of the box. Oh, right. Yeah. We also took away the hook rail too as well. Um, okay. Just to make the car a little bit more streamlined, we actually magnify up the body line too as well, just to bring a little bit more attention to just a white car. Yeah. So it no, it makes it more sleek. And doing it in white is, you know, a lot of times people painted crazy colors just because it takes away from a bad design. Yes. And if something looks good in white, it, it looks good in anything. Yeah. And yeah, that's a that's a classic example. Let me let me go around to the front of the car sure. here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, now oh you got the GTR, that's obviously taken from the yeah. Yes. That's just GT Kai. And I like the uh, blacked out chrome. That looks really nice. Yes. And the uh, big tires. Mm -hmm. And of course right hand drive. Yeah, it came originally right-hand drive, and that's the uniqueness of this car. We want it like, pretty much like a pure Japanese classic. Yeah. Um, so right-hand drive kind of gives it that extra detail that people kind of overlook. You know, the fun thing about right-hand drive, I have a couple of cars right-hand drive, and George, a uh, mechanic, we, we, we're speeding on the freeway. Roar, lady cop comes over, walks up to George, give me a license. You guys didn't do anything. Give me a license. <laughs> she, he goes, I don't have a steering wheel. She goes, what? <laughs> yeah, give me your license. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really funny. It was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. All right. Let's see what else is what. Your gas tank is in the stock place, correct? Yes. It's still underneath the bed. Okay. Um, we'll clean it out. Just make sure that it sits in it. But it's actually running. Um, we have an external fuel pump just to bring the right power up to the front. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Let's see. Can we open the hood? Sure. We press press down on these. Yes. Press down. Oh, pull this go. back. Yep, and then okay. It has no latch, so you may oh, have to help okay. me hold it, or I'll hold it for you. Wow. That is, uh, that is clean. Yeah. Wow. If you look at it, we didn't have much, you know, the practical question people would ask is that, why didn't you go with a six cylinder or a straight six? Because it's right. more skyline, you know, heritage. Right. But this is what we can really fit into yeah, the car. Yeah, I mean, you, this barely fits. <laughs> yes. If you look at it, we have, we, we have about, you know, a finger gap or so up yeah. in the front. Um, and you've got a turbo on there. Yes, we what do. What kind of horsepower are you making? Um, currently right now, it's sitting about mid 300s. Wow. Yeah. And what does it weigh? It's weighed roughly a little bit more than 1,800 pounds. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. It's that's very good. Decent power to weight ratio. Yeah. Yeah. And we did a top mount turbo just so that, you know, it can show off the turbo a little bit yeah, more. Yeah. Um, we did AN fittings all throughout every bits of it. So, so, you know, it cleans up the motor a little bit. Um, this is a great engine because it's, it's pretty much it was in almost every single, I would say, Nissan car because right. it was a workhorse for them. It was an right. SR and right. it has different version. This one is a little and bit. And what newer. are we using for brakes? Um, the front runs on Willwood. It's a custom kit that we made yeah. in house. We fabricated. You know, we use Willwood on everything. They do just an incredible job. Yes. And they they can make anything fit anything. Exactly. And you know, it's it. all adaptable. Whether you got an MG or a Mustang, whatever it is. They do a nice, nice job. What do you got there? That's wiper motor? Or well, in, in all my build, I kind of try to keep some old element to make yeah. sure that it reminds me that it is an old truck. Right. So we kept this, um, we kept the gas pedal original, and then we kept the, the tailgate latch original. Okay. Kept Just the tailgate so, latch. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because um, that tailgate is actually made out of carbon fiber and fiberglass. I like <laughs> so. these. these are, wow, those are very nice. Yeah. Wow. Boy, it's a beautiful job. Thank you, sir. Just very impressive. And, the, and it looks pretty stock from the back, right? Yes. 
except for those two massive tailpipes coming out of there. <laughs> yeah. Two exhaust. Now, what are we running for fuel here? <laughs> well, <laughs> what are you running for fuel? Right now we're running on 91 octane. It's on pump gas. Before okay. originally we tuned it on E85. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah I was wondering. Well, okay. Yeah. Odd. <laughs> Overall, from the back, you want to we wanted to keep it just a, a decent present on the road. When you see it, it's like, oh, okay, it's a it's a pickup truck. And then right, once you roll right. to the front, it kind of captivate you in and just go, yeah, whoa, yeah. it's a. No bumpers, obviously. Yes, yeah. everything was shaved off. And then these trucks didn't have a rear bumper. It has like a really um, kind of like a bump stop, um, right, but we right. shaved it off just to clean up the lines. And what does the truck weigh? Do you know? What did you say? 1,800? Around, a little bit over 1,800 pounds. 1,800 pounds. pounds. Yes. Okay, that's right. And the stock latches and all of that? Yeah, kept the stock latch, but this is actually out of fiberglass and um, carbon fiber. And this is lower than it was originally? Yes. The, originally, there was a, um, a bed hook kind of step about okay. this high. We shaved the whole thing off, and it ran along all the way up to the roof line. So we shave all that off just to keep the car a little bit more smooth and yeah, and yeah. Sleeker. And obviously all, all your sponsors are in there. Very nice. Yeah, and some great friends that we worked with to help us. Uh, yeah, and this up. was done probably on a pretty good budget, huh? Yeah, we 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 kept it in mind that it it wasn't a car that we had a ton of money. Right. But we wanted to. Be, and maximize everything that we you're have. You're paying yourself like a dollar an hour, right? Probably a lot, worse. A lot of hours in this. <laughs> yes, a lot of I hours. I mean, how many hours would you say this is? Uh, uh, people watching this, you're like, oh, I got, I got a truck like that. I'd love to do that. Well, you're looking at it. It's a lot of time. It was a, a lot of time, and I had a day job too. So this was something that we did after hour. Right. Um, and of course, it was only a two man project. Myself right. and one of my good friends, John, step on to build the car. The, the yes. two of us just pretty much have day job, and at night. We kind of ranched away and single built guy. This car. I'm married. He's oh, yeah, married man. to us wow. well with a child. Wow, <laughs> so. wow, that's oh yeah, that's pretty good. So the baby goes right back here. Right? Yes. Just, just put the baby back here. Yeah, that's fine. Well, he's the only thing that can actually fit back here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, nicely done. Can we take it for a spin? Definitely. Come yes. Come on, let's do it. Take it for a ride. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So we took all the sound in and out, and you know, you and I are screaming at each other pretty much. Right, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect for married couple. <laughs> I like the AM radio. I kind of kept it. The Hitachi, you know, I love the Hitachi yeah. radio. Yeah, I mean, to me, I hate when people get rid of all vestiges of what the old car used to be, you know? What am I hearing, drive shaft? Yeah, a little drive shaft, just a little, it pulls on it really hard. Younger than you? 
Metal. My dad could never understand why anybody would pay more for an old car. Yeah. Than, whenever I'd buy an old car, I'd like, you got a brand new car for that. I, I, want a, I don't want a Kia. I want to buy, you know. No, I really like the boxy look of yeah. it, you know. Yeah. And, I make a joke, I call it, this is my boxer dropper. Yeah, yeah. You know, you really don't, you really don't get girls with this car. No, that's what, that's what I'm right. No girl will get in this car. Yeah. So your wife knows when you're out, you're only picking up other dorky guys. Yeah, exactly. She's like, oh, if you like this, this is good. You know, so much of SEMA is about these $600,000, $800,000 cars that people build. And this is fun. You do it in your garage, and you, you know, you're a talented guy, and you you got a good eye and it looks great. Yeah. It looks terrific. Oh, it's a nice clean build. I like your ignition here and the engine start. Yes. Without the key and all. I mean, we thought it was, you know, a lot of the failure about these cars are the key. Yeah. You, you can't start it. So a little modern touch and we use a Skyline dash on it. Yeah. Um, you know, we replicated the Skyline dash. And you're driving over your left thigh will be huge and your right thigh <laughs> yes. will be like a, like a tiny person. Well, that is the stiffest clutch I've ever <laughs> My leg is like this big now, but very cool. And I guess we got to got to trim that drive shaft a little bit. Yeah. Like that. And then uh, trim the tires a little bit, rub it. That's okay. Yeah. But very cool. Beautiful job. Dominic. Thank very, you. I love all the touches in here. I love the uh, modern ignition, uh, engine start and stop. Uh, and the, the custom gauges and what is this dash out of you said? This is out of the actual Skyline. We kind okay. of retrofitted, remade it, and made it smaller to fit into the truck. Okay, well, very good. And congratulations. That's really impressive. You Thank know, you, Jay. two guys working in the garage, building a car, and getting into SEMA. So that's great. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank bye, you. bye bye. See you next week. My phone's ringing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>